there YouTube, we are back with some more BT17 match commentary for you guys. I'm joined by the Quackity McQuackerton, the Kaiju King, my brother from another mother, TJ. B -b -b <laughs> <laughs> the, I, I'm uh, a guffawed as I have just confirmed that yes, you do the, do the trash one regardless. Uh, <laughs> people are going to tell me in the comments, but before, um, I have been nerfing myself, so that's good to know. It's <laughs> good to know. Uh, uh, but today's yeah. we've got some more match play commentary. These are still filmed from TJ's house. We're doing some testing as we um, are getting ready for the official release of BT17, which has been just a couple days now um, as a video release. Today's matchup features Rio, who's playing Imperial on the left, going up against TJ himself, who's playing Dexter Gora on the right. Um, Definitely a fun time with BT17, a lot of new decks coming out and a lot of new exciting stuff to showcase. So hopefully you guys are enjoying it. If you like our content, you like what you're seeing, uh, want to support the channel, please do consider hitting the like and subscribe button. We would greatly appreciate it and hit that bell. So you're notified as to when these videos go live. Um, and second of all, you know, if you want to continue inter interacting with us, feel free to hit up our socials, which are linked down in the video description below. Things are Twitter or Instagram or Discord, all that good stuff. Um, and the Discord is probably the best place for you to find the deck lists that are run on the channel. So if you're looking for them, hit us up over there. We'll be sure to point you in the right direction. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, enough yipper yapper. Let's hop right into the round over here. So, um, mm. yeah, so I was, I was messaging Sonny about it because he's also been playing Dex Dora Gora. Mm. And uh, yeah, he confirmed it as well. I was like, ah. Oh. Okay, so that's good to know. Good to know that I've been for myself. I don't do it in this. I don't think. I don't know. We'll find out. Uh, we see it. Rio have a pretty decent start. He just goes Vmon into a Stingmon. Probably not like your ideal Stingmon, but I mean, having a level four ready to go in the back is always good guess. And then you yeah. also have some good setup here with a training and a cool boy. Yeah, so I'm some just pieces. doing some searching, some setup. Um. And I'm putting the two Daruga back on the bottom after I grab the, uh, door. Oh, no, I think I grabbed the Daruga and I put the Doro mm -hmm. and the other, uh, BT-13 Daruga on the bottom. Rather, sorry. Sure. So see Rio considering what to mm -hmm. do. He does just drop a sting. So he's a little bricked right now. Um, if I remember right, I think he was having some issues with, uh, uh, just cause like, I think this was like a fresh shuffle right after putting sure. it together. So sure. things were a little bit clumped. Um, so, uh, I'm able to go Daruga, evil for free into it, uh, pitch one, draw one, and then make it so that Stingmon has to swing because I have a Tamer and Sources. Uh-huh. Um, I'm considering how I want to go up my line here. Um, and I think this is where I literally, like, stop and, like, ask myself, like, do I do the trash one regardless? And then I was really re reading the effect, and I should have just trusted my ability to know things, uh, but I didn't. Um, so I just go into this other one instead. You do the go to Dex Daruga play, gain the memory, go into Dex Daruga. Pitching, yep, then... uh, Dex Dorugora. Mm -hmm. And then you go into the Doruga. Pops this thing. Spit out Kosuke. Nice. Yeah, so I was being super uh, conscientious of like the entire time of like making sure that I did not leave the tamer in my sources, mm -hmm. so that way it could not get stripped in case I you know somehow gave him enough memory to get a Davis Ken on board and hurt me. Um. So Kosuke, I, I spit out, leave him there. Uh, mm -hmm. Rio is still pretty bricked. He's not seeing the other half of his line. He doesn't have end of turn DNA. He doesn't have any tamers. So um, he just goes in the back, and I just start working on another line while getting the Dorgora set up. Oh, Zubagon. Yeah, so I Zubagon punch. Go ahead oh, and swing. There's for a Davis two checks. and Ken. That's not bad. And you go out, play an Agu. Play out Kosuke. Gain the memory from the Agu. Which is a good memory choke and passes Rio over to one. Uh, Rio will just go into a dragon mode from BT16. We suspend the Davis and Ken to gain a memory. 
um, and we make it so that the Dorogora can't unsuspend. Yeah, so here's the thing. So the Dorogora should have been unsuspended from the Zubigon Punch because right. of Reboot. Um, I just was not thinking about it. I forgot it. Um, uh, in between this uh, game and uh, our other game, uh, RB and I did a match of uh, Fenry versus Dorogora. Um, the match is pretty good, but it is like an hour and 12 minutes. So we're opting not to do that because that'd be a very long video to record. <laughs> um, we can always do it another day. We could, we could, um, but probably not. I, I think it's, I, I don't think it's, I don't think it's a, it'd be a 40 minute video. I don't think it would, uh, <laughs> be conducive to a good time. Unless people feel differently in the comments. Let us know if you want those longer videos, but I can't imagine that you do. Um, but yeah, so those matches went pretty well. Uh, I was a, a fool and a, uh, a clown in the first game, and that ends up uh, coming back to bite me. But otherwise, they were pretty good. Um, pretty so solid board state here, later. though. Um, yeah. You've got two cool boys. You've got three bodies on board. You've got one of your big guys, and you door Jin. Door Jin, yeah. So I use door Jin to go ahead and pop the Davis, and then I'm able to pop the uh, the dragon mode. Um, and for people like with the with the stun thing, it really wouldn't have made a difference because he would have just like the cool boy would have been unsuspended regardless. Like it did unsuspend. Um, he just would have just suspended and then locked or would have you know locked down and then suspended the door guard to make sure it couldn't unsuspend. Um, right, right. So the game state would have been exactly the same as it was pretty much as he was passing turn. It's just a little bit different and unresolved. Mm, That's all. And Rio just has to hard even into another Payil, which is rough. <sighs> Yeah, he's stuck. So losing the Davis Cantamer was tough. Losing the line is tough. I didn't evil or do anything by an effect, so he's just kind of stuck. Um, so I'm just trying to like, I'm just, I'm playing it safe because I know how explosive Imperial can be. Mm -hmm. Um, so I go into a Daruga here, go ahead and draw one, and then I'm able to pitch one to draw another. And then at this point, I'm just considering just trying to choke to one to be safe. Um, sure. So I go into a uh, Dex Druga, gain two, draw two, pitch another one to gain one. So I'm back up to four. Um, and then I'm just debating. And I think. Yeah, you tuck the Kosuke under both yeah. your bigger stacks. So the Dex yeah, Druga just... and the Dorogora. Yeah, try and get some draw going. Go into a Dorogray there. Um, and then uh, I go ahead and just push some damage real quick. I do hit a V, so I'm all good. Any reason you didn't alliance with the... Uh, I don't have it I'm... right now. I need to have aging sources. Oh, that's right. That's right. Kosuke, Kosuke is just piercing, piercing and, blocker. and blocker. Yeah. 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 Um, and then I have to just spit out one Kosuke. Just go sure. ahead and just yeah. uh, get I mean, the one fair. memory from Agu and draw one and just choke the one again. Yeah. You have a very intimidating board state right now. And Rio is just try really just playing catch up, if anything. Yeah, so this Trying time he just survive. locks down. Suspends door grade. Doesn't really matter, though. Um, turn passes to me. I go to three. Uh, mm -hmm. I make sure I sp spit up the uh, Kosuke before it gets too far. Um, he locked down my door, Gora. Mm -hmm. So, uh, start of main, I just go ahead and tuck the, um, the Doru. Go ahead and put a Kosuke under there. Just pop the uh, pop dragon the mode. And then just go ahead and swing for yeah, the fences. Yeah, and then just yeah. swing in. Yeah, and we go to game two. Oof. Yeah, so Rio was just kind of stuck. He was stuck on just all the top end. Yeah. You know, the amount of times I've played against Dex Dorogoro already, I I want to put the deck together. You have inspired me. It's very fun. It looks very fun. It's very, very fun. It's just, it's, it's like I've been saying in previous videos, it's very hard. There's so many micro decisions that you can make that like, I, I don't want to sound like a broken record. Well, at least it's across videos, oh, so you're you know, texting people have days in between. Me. I am texting you. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> at least they didn't see my nudes. Um, anyways, uh, so uh, it, it's it's just hard because there's so many micro decisions you can make that like will make or break a game for you. Mm -hmm. um, like I was doing like the uh, well, I'll talk about it in the next video that we do. Um, but like this match went pretty well overall, mostly because Rio just bricked. But I was also able to like I was I think I was resolving stuff pretty well, and I was seeing the cards I needed to see for all my my combos, which was nice. Um, the hour plus long video with uh, 
with RB. I basically just I forgot that I had sec plus one in my stack already from the BT7 Dora Gray, and then I, I should have Zubagon punched, and I could have just swung for all three security and then swung for game with the rookie. Or at least I could have gone for that. Um, because Fenry doesn't normally run security bombs, and I had a Dex Dora Gora in trash, so if I would have been deleted, I could have evoed into that to stay alive. Yeah, I mean, just so I had everything I needed. Mm -hmm. Um, I just got so lost in the sauce of, of what to do that I missed it. I also could have just played an AG and alliance and then done. Stuff, yeah, I mean, I, that's I, the one thing I've noticed too. Like, playing against your deck and your build a lot already, you know, even though it's just week one, it's like, I feel like you're right. Like, there's a lot of like these like small micro decisions that you kind of have to just like think through. And sometimes it is tough because you also are developing a very crazy board state. You're trying to keep, you know, track of all these different things that could potentially co interact. And you also have to keep in mind what your opponent can do and how that can tie yeah. into your game plan. And you're trying to like tie things together. So there's a lot to and keep in mind. And a lot of it's just kind of parts of the game nowadays, right? Mm -hmm. That's, you know, that can make turns take longer and it's, yeah. it's, you know, all those yeah. good things. The, the hardest thing in regards to Dorogora is Wait. the fact that the. <laughs> Yeah, I, I hit the two ages off the first two, and I was just like, oh. <laughs> and then I grabbed the third card, and it was a Doro. Um, but it's it's the fact that um, the deck is also so toolboxy. Oh, like, it no. has so many options. I do hit, he does hit a Doro Din, which is a one of, which is crazy. That was probably the most security he did for me all night, to be honest. Um, I end up just passing him back to one by playing a Kosuke, just trying to set up. Uh, mm -hmm. In case he's able to hyper up a line, I'm like, you know what? At least I have this Doro back here that I can talk a Tamer into, and then go into a... Uh, a Dorogora off a, a Warp Evo. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, the, um, anyways, it's just, it's hard. There's a lot of different decisions you can make. There's a lot of different ways you can play things out. Um, and it's, but it's, it's very, very fun. And it's very rewarding when you get the place right. Um, it's very interactive too, which I think is always like something yes. that always lures me in is that if there's a lot of interaction with your opponent's board state, I'm all in. Yeah, that's that's Sign what's me got up, me into it as well. I, I love I you know me. I love my mid range. Yeah. I love my control. Um, and so it's nice to have a control deck that actually like is good. Um, yeah. I just need to. I'm practicing. You know, I love the deck. I'm obsessed with it. Um, I think I'm doing okay. I don't think that I'm doing amazing with it. But my goal is to be uh, uh, one of the best with it. You know, that's what I want to get to. So I'm I'm practicing as much as I can and just learning everything and looking at different combos and interactions of the deck lists. Um, it is definitely definitely my focus. Um, so Rio is here considering stuff. He was going to go into a Pale Jamon and I remind him, I'm like, hey, that, that's going to bounce because uh, you played that off of the mm. the Davis Ken. So I don't know if you want to do that. And he's like, yeah, you're right. So he's like, I'm just going to pass. Mm. He's like, he's... Poor Rio is just bricked really bad. Um, and I just, I'm seeing everything I need to see. I'm seeing all the time I need to set up. Um, so yeah, so right here is an instance where I should have trashed a card. Um, it, 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 if anything, it was kind of like, rough for me because I kind of wanted to put a card in trash, but I wasn't sure that's how it resolved, so I opted just to play the way I have been playing. Mm -hmm. um, I go into the Doro Gray. I swing Collision, which then lets me go ahead and do this thing. I'm just sort of catching up on effects here where I would have died off the swing because he revealed the security, but I'm just like, wait, I had stuff to play a body out off the deletion earlier. Yeah. Um, so I do that. Uh, I would have been unsuspended because I deleted the Digimon. Um, so I was just I was catching up on the resolutions of things because there's so much stuff to go through and we were kind of going a bit quicker because it's late. Sure. I uh, do check again and it's another worm. Yeah, so, I have reboot. So mm -hmm. I was like, you know what? I'll just go ahead and push aggression. And here, I mean, yeah, you're just sitting pretty. You set up another body. Pitch and draw two. And I mean, you're your big guy living right now. And yeah, spit out the coast K and then go to the extra war. I'm I am I think I am doing better with the uh the tamer effect. At least yes. with remembering yes, yes, to yes. spit the tamers out. Because I have to readjust to that because I have not played a deck with Mind Link uh since like D Brigade back in BT fourteen. Mm. So I'm having to, to oh, get no. back into the oh, I mean, Rio just scoops. My he was just goodness. stuck. He had the like he had so many other means of doing other things, but like he couldn't he could he just stuck. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, the one I don't know chokes what you were do tough. Yeah, like he he couldn't go anywhere with anything. So, 
Yeah. Um, it's tough, but you guys get a good showcase of just how, how like oppressive the control could be. Oh, excuse me. I'm so sorry. Oh. <laughs> you, get, you get an idea of how oppressive the control can be Ooh, from like Darth Vader. Dorogora. Jesus. The tamer control can be very important. <laughs> um, uh, and you maybe know a little bit of what not to do uh, as well with me not remembering to do certain effects and everything in case you also had questions about it. Um, yeah. And don't yeah. be fooled. Imperial's terrifying. You have to play it super carefully. If 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 Rio wasn't if Rio uh, like was unbreaked for even a turn, the entire game can change. Sure. Um. Sure. So you know, it's also just unfortunate. Like he didn't see partition. He didn't see like the BT16 pale draw when he was finally able to DNA. There's just a lot. There's a lot going on there. Yeah. Uh, but like TJ said, hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Let us know what you think in the comment section down below. Um. And yeah. You know, hopefully you guys are enjoying the new BT17 content and there is definitely more to come. So stay tuned and hopefully we catch you on that next video. Bye bye.